Just tell us. Represent your city, your town, your state, your country, your planet. Harrisburg, North Carolina in the house. We got Berlin, Bur Birmingham, Alabama, Saudi Arabia. Gimme, gimme, NYC up in here. Mike Diamante, New Jersey. I see you. I'm just like, I like have to look at this phone and be like, who's there? <laughs> oh, yeah, because you can't see Montreal. All the, yeah, Montreal, the Southern California. Stuff, Aloha. Aloha, 08 soldiers. We got Sheffield, Jam England. We got Jamaica. Sydney. Glenn Masters Rasmussen dropping in from Denmark. Dubai. I see Chi Gonzalez from Santa Fe, New Mexico. I see Jabwalkies from Boston. The Jabwalkies. I see Croben Kramer from Nebraska. I see you. I see you all. Canada is in the house. Shouting out Jason X. Canada. Canada. Switzerland. Savannah, Georgia. We got Oh Canada from UAE. Love FT. Okay. Shall we get to this? Shall we get this party started? Let's do it, man. Okay. <clears throat> we got a lot to talk about. Well, we got lots going on. Thanks for hanging out with us, everybody. Apple Bite Extra Crunchy. We're going to roll and keep it munchy. Okay. Um, in three, two. Hello, everybody. We are live. It's our last day in the Giant Bomb podcast studio. You almost, so happy. I, you almost freaked me out, and, uh, and you've probably freaked out people thinking you're going to say last show. <laughs> last, last show. Our last show in this podcast studio. <laughs> Next week, we're going to be back up in good old, the old blue, we used to call it, oh, I think. Man. But uh, it's the Apple Bite Extra Crunchy podcast with your host, Mr. Brian Tong. Thank you, Mr. Beach. And welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. It's the Apple Bite Extra Crunchy Extra Munchy. This is episode 77. That's my lucky number. That's Today's a lucky number. We're rolling deep. We're also uh, we're going to be back in the OG studio where uh, we might try and take some live calls Hey, oh, again. live calls. That's kind of crazy. I can't wait. That, that's pretty cool. So the lower level in our CNET building in San Francisco has been our home. It's been a Hell. basically a dungeon. Hell. And they've completely remodeled upstairs. Uh, and so that's why... We've been here holding it down, but we will get back uh, upstairs soon enough. But I know you all don't really care about that. You're just like, can you can you guys just give me what I came for? Let's get to the show. Again, this is all about you all. We had tons of calls this week. We did, man. And we're going to show a lot of love to you all about them. But remember, be a part of the show. Call us at 1-800-616-2638. Leave us your name, where you're from, and just get to it. We actually had like a call that was like two minutes, and I wanted to play some, but it was just too long. Decent call, just a little too. Decent long. call, yeah. I think it was our was it was it a buddy from Utah or something? Something like that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> something like that. Just They're making all it up. To me now. Making it up. All right, let's get to the show, and we have plenty of stuff. We know that Apple dropped a whole bunch of new products uh, today, which is Friday. We will get to that, but we'll get to some of the more pressing news. To specifically the iCloud hacks. Did you hear about this stuff? I did. I haven't had a lot of time to read up on them, honestly. So but, you want to uh, listen to the show and, I, and catch I'm up? I'm here to learn. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a learning experience yes. here today. So check this out. I love the name of this uh, hacker group. They identified themselves as the Turkish crime family. Uh, they apparently are trying to extort Apple over alleged access to this huge cache of iCloud and other Apple email accounts. Wow. Uh, they are demanding $75,000 in Bitcoins or <laughs> $100,000 in iTunes gift cards. Are you kidding me? This sounds like a teenager, <laughs> right? The request specifically from one of the hackers that told Motherboard, and this is a quote, I just want my money and thought this would be an interesting report that a lot of Apple customers would be interested in reading and hearing. Again, I just want my money. <laughs> the hackers wow. provided screenshots of the alleged emails between actually Apple security team and themselves. Apple, I love Apple's like position there. <laughs> they basically said... Okay, this is so there's an exchange between these hackers saying, hey, look, we have access to this information. They even did a video on YouTube of them allegedly logging into some of the stolen accounts um, and accessing a woman's iCloud account, showing off backed up photos and the ability to wipe them out. Now, their threat is that they're saying we're going to completely wipe out these roughly 300 million accounts if you don't pay us. They're going to delete them. Delete, like, all, like, delete all the information in the accounts. That's... It's like almost a form of terrorism. It's cyber. It's cyber, cyber, cyber terrorism. terrorism. Yeah. Except they only want $100,000 in gift cards. <laughs> iTunes gift cards. So they cards. could go buy music. <laughs> what? You can't even... Okay, what? 
Okay, fine. If you're a teenager, that's movies. a lot. They that's a lot of movies. Yeah. You you what? You buy one nice car? Uh, like this. This sounds so funny. So here's the other thing. Um, other websites like ZDNet, our own uh, sister site ZDNet, has verified that some of the emails um, that they showed some screenshots of do actually work and give you access to these accounts. Really? Yes. So the thinking though might be that the information that they have could also be, guess what? A lot of us have emails that we have passwords on the same accounts. <laughs> you um, think they could have been like fishing for this information? Yeah, you know, they could have gone, you know, this could be a Twitter account, you know, yeah. like a, you know, it could be your a Facebook bot. or YouTube or, you know what I'm saying? Like this could be your information that they hacked in other ways from other services and then said, oh, let's apply them to iCloud. And some of them may or may not work. We don't know exactly, but again, there's ways that you all can protect yourself. Really, the most simple way to kind of do this is whatever password they have, if you want to, just change your password, change add another digit, add like, if your password is blank, 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 blank number, just add another number on it, the same number. Or like an apostrophe mark, just if, something. if they allow it. But um, what was I, I was just going to ask a question. Uh, never mind, keep going. <laughs> okay, you need to stop me from talking in, in the future so you can answer. I'm the, thinking and question. pressing buttons at the same time. I know it's it's and it's Friday too, bro. It's Friday. It's, it's Friday, bro. Uh, so we won't. They, again, the the thinking is that they'll do something on April seventh if they don't get to it. Uh, you can change your password. Also, Apple's iCloud service offers two factor authentication. That was my question. It's a, is there two factor verification? Yes, That's what I was gonna there ask. is. Thanks for answering my question, Brian. Hey, just keep on listening to the show. This is a learning <laughs> experience. This is a learning experience. There we go. So you can activate that. I know a lot of us, myself included, can it can be it's annoying. stupid and annoying. But maybe for the meantime, just flip it on, deal with it for now, wait it out at least until April the 7th or a month or so. Maybe you might just be like, you know what, I'm okay with two-factor th two authentication. Um, but it is in your iCloud settings. You can go uh, to the website to get that all set up. Okay, so that's one way to look out for yourself. Now, we also have a follow-up. Not sure if you all remembered about the WikiLeaks leak, how they had, it's maybe a, now might be what, a week or two weeks from now, from now where they said that they acquired information of how, um, you know, the FBI was tapping into your yeah. devices. And then they published how the CIA and other Yeah, other, sorry, uh, CIA, why did I say FBI? I meant CIA, yeah, I'm sorry. They published how they were able to get into these phones and stuff. Exactly, right? so... This is, I said CIA, I mean, I said FBI, FBI because it's all CIA, this, no, it's all this, MI6, all this, you know, <laughs> communications to Russia stuff is in my head, know, that's right? why. So this was a group of new documents that they released out, part of the ongoing Vault 7 leak, that's kind of the comprehensive group of documents uh, that were focusing on this. Uh, they were released by WikiLeaks uh, earlier this morning, codenamed Dark Matter again. This is the thing, though. Apple has their own official statement in response to what was released. Apple says we have preliminary, this is their official statement, we have preliminarily assessed the WikiLeaks disclosures from this morning. Based on our initial analysis, the alleged iPhone vulnerability affected iPhone 3G only and was fixed in 2009 <laughs> when the 3GS was released. Additionally, our preliminary assessment shows that the alleged Mac vulnerabilities were previously fixed in all Macs launched after 2013. They have not negotiated with WikiLeaks for any information. WikiLeaks also said they would work with manufacturers to give them this information to help them, right? Yeah, that's right. right. So they're trying to look like a good guy, but they're still a bad guy. They have their own motivations <laughs> against it. But ultimately, this also gives us light into the fact that this is really old stuff. Yeah. You know, 2013 for Macs. 2009 for an iPhone 3G vulnerability that was patched. So, yes, they do have this documentation. I'm not, I'm hoping that most companies have patched most of their things, at least by now. But it's not something like, hey, this is a way to get into your phone uh, from two months ago. Yeah, That's a like, different story. It's like, this is how we were able to get in your phone nine, eight years ago. And ultimately, it is still bad that they are, uh, we know this Let's be honest. We know that government agencies are doing stuff like this all the time. Whether or not they're using it against us or other countries, we know that they're doing it. Yeah, yeah. Right? So It's their job. It's, this is just verification that it's actually happening. Totally. And people are like, and what can you do, really? If you have Don't. a Samsung TV that's listening to your sounds at night because it's being used as a microphone, <laughs> use another room, bro. Yeah, turn it off. Unplug it. <laughs> 
get off the grid. <laughs> so um, that's what's going on in the world of Apple wiki leaks and they, hacks. They, Apple did the same thing like last week when they released WikiLeaks released a bunch of CIA docs too, and they said, "Oh, this is old stuff." Or is yeah. this the same thing? This is this is kind of more detailed, like a, updated, um, updated information specifically on some of the leaks. Like one of the leaks was Apple leaks was called Night Skies. Night Skies. Dark. It's like it fancy names Dark. for all this. Stuff. Oh, he's got to come up with cool stuff. Seven Vault. Vault Seven. Vault Seven. <laughs> so exactly. Cool, man. You, you've got to come up with pretty cool names, otherwise no one cares. So uh, that is what is going on in that world at the moment. Let's talk about also though. Um, whoops, hold on, sorry. My documentation here is all over the place. We'll also talk about how to feel better after all this. What is uh, the yeah. best way to feel better when you hear stories like this that might scare you? Um, just eat something fun like ice cream or. Uh... I've got one word for you. <laughs> Emoji. Emojis. New emojis. That. The Unicode Consortium posted what we believe to be the new emojis that will be coming most likely in the next release of iOS, iOS 11, okay? There's a bunch of them. Uh, Boy Genius Report actually posted uh, pretty much the whole family. New uh, emojis like Starstruck, mm -hmm. puking or throwing up. You can scroll down more, Beach. For people that are watching, there's like a vampire there's a giraffe and zebra. There's all these new exotic animals. I they finally we we had heard about them bringing some like Ooh, these Asian rifle. foods. Yeah, I thought they were gonna not do guns. Well, where's the rifle? It's at the bottom here. Oh, you're right. And has a scope on it. Yowzers. There's also like a Michael Phelps. Like Is a, there like a Michael Phelps in the swimming pool right here? <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. That's a water polo. <laughs> My bad. Dude, you just, I just you thought just, of Michael Phelps. You offended right our entire water polo <laughs> listening uh, apple biter population. Yeah, sorry guys. That's very offensive. Like, I'm sorry for all the water poloists out there. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I am seeing tacos and burrito, and that's good because some of my friends were complaining that like Mexicans weren't really, you know. Well, they got they got a, a fortune of... cookie, a dumpling, and a takeout box because a takeout box <laughs> represents traditional Chinese food. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like but these some of these were previewed a while ago but this looks like these are going to be move, moving forward into the official uh kind of family of emojis and we, know. you know we can see them in iOS 11. I think there's too many emojis. There's too many right now, now, right? Like you're, you, you get scroll, bogged down in them. You know I think I mean? they need to make my favorites that yeah, panel yeah. larger. You have to put a favorites. The yeah. favorites needs to be larger now because yeah. like I hate it when I'm well my eggplant and peach are always on there. <laughs> I do the, the su dude with the sunglasses a lot. Just oh, yeah. I do easy. the cry and laugh all the time like that. Yeah, yeah. Ah! That, like, one's, I, that's, that one's used a lot. That's, I probably use it every day. <laughs> all right, let's talk about a few uh, cool patents. You might have heard of this one that was dropped this week. Apple is maybe dreaming up some crazy device, at least with their own family of products. We've seen this literally as far back as good, Lord. I, I'm. It might be even longer than seven or eight years. But anyways... Apple is looking at possibly creating some sort of a docking system that shows off your iPhone or iPad docking into a MacBook style dumb terminal. This is like <laughs> That's kind of cool actually. It is cool. The I mean, I would never buy this, but <laughs> it would be like putting your phone in the in the touchpad area of your of this MacBook shell or even um Putting in your maybe I would do the iPad Pro actually. I'm actually gonna take yeah, that iPad back. Pro I'm gonna work. take that back now. <laughs> You're yeah. all yes. There the other one is showing an iPad being put into this shell of a MacBook as the screen. God, you know that shell is gonna cost like oh my six hundred bucks. Or no something way, ridiculous. it'll be like a thousand bucks. <laughs> it'll be so expensive. It's gonna they'll, be ridiculous. They'll even expensive. throw. They'll make it more expensive by adding touch bar functionality that you will never use. I'm just yeah, kidding for people like that use the touch colors bar. Colors and all kinds of sizes. I'm just messing with you people that have the touch bar. I know there's people that love it, and there's people that also don't really like it that much. But anyways, this is again just a patent filing of what Apple's thinking. It doesn't mean they're actually gonna do this. But this has been done before, and it has still yet to be successful by any other company. I think it's unnecessary right now because the whole idea of an iPhone is that is your computer now in yeah, your yeah, pocket. Yeah, totally. Um, and 
quite honestly, I still don't see many people with iPad Pros in the wild. I'm like the rare bird. Yeah, it's very rare to see an iPad out in the wild these days. iPad Pro. Or yeah, like my Pro. 12.9 inch. Like I just don't, I just don't see it that much. Yeah. So, but I love it. I love it. Also, another patent that was recently revealed from our friends at Patent Lee Apple. Apple invents a new safety measure for Apple Watch and iPhone that could and will, if implemented, shut off the messaging features in others while driving. Oh, that's good. This is so smart. That's nice, yeah. This should happen uh, basically where it's a wearable, you know, as a wearable device as it detects the moment 